Hey guys, welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Hold on. <laughs> welcome back to Destroyer 1320. What? Hold on. Welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today we're going to talk about winterizing your vehicle, making sure you have it set up so when you park it for the winter, the people who have to put it away for snow and all that. Make sure we got everything set so in the spring you just hop in that thing and hit the track. Stay tuned. So winterization. Like I said, I grew up out in Illinois and uh, I actually used to work for my uncle's construction company. Shout out G&G &G Construction. And uh, we had to prep everything for winter time. Uh, the, the stuff that we weren't going to use had to be stored. So uh, some of the things I picked up along the way were uh, number one, make sure you have a full fuel tank. Uh, if you do not, oxygen uh, is in the air naturally and can create condensation. And if you have a metal tank in an older car, it would rot it out a little bit or possibly corrode it. And for our cars, it's just not good to have that moisture running through the car. So make sure you have a full tank of gas. Then I would recommend putting in a stabilizer such as Stabil. Uh, sea foam or Marvel's Ma uh, Magic Mystery Oil, um, that stuff works really well. The um, other thing you need to look at is your battery. Make sure you put a battery tender on there. Uh, they're not that expensive. Of course, I would buy a little more expensive one just because I don't trust the $12 uh, cheapo. But uh, I would definitely look at that. You want to make sure you put that on there. That's just going to trickle charge your battery. It keeps an eye on your voltage of the battery. So if it needs to charge, it kicks right back in and, and keeps it up. So when you hop in there in springtime, bam, you're good to go. So tires would be the other thing we're looking at. Make sure they're aired up um, to just under max PSI. Uh, I know we run them a little lower when we go to the track. So you'll want to check all of your tires and make sure they're at uh, optimal PSI. Just because as it gets colder, they're going to actually drop in PSI throughout the winter and most people that I know that have a car like these will put jack stands under them just so they don't end up with a possible flat spot under the tire. Isn't a huge deal because as you warm them up in the summertime or spring when you, whenever you decide to keep your car going again, you don't have to worry about uh, the flat spot because it, it heats up the tire and it'll get back to its original shape. Then um, antifreeze, I highly suggest using one of those. That will make sure that you check your antifreeze. And I know some people change out their antifreeze and use water at the track. So if they had a spill or something happens, they don't get the track all nasty. Make sure you get your antifreeze back up to par. Check it with one of those and uh, make sure you're good to go so it doesn't freeze and freeze inside your engine and possibly pop a freeze plug. That would be a horrible situation. Then uh, I would clean out my car because I know some of you guys have. They're even worse than my car is, as far as how dirty, so dropping in french fries and all that, you don't want to be stank. So make sure you don't have a stank car. Uh, I, I would clean and wax my car, definitely, and then throw a cover on it. Uh, there are a couple different options for covers. I'll show them up here. Uh, there's one of them called the Car Cocoon. Uh, there's another one that's just a normal car cover. You can get a cheap Amazon $30 cover. Um, there's another one called the uh, EVP. That's Extreme Environmental Protection. This one right here. Then there is Car Capsule. You can use a car capsule. That one's really cool, showing right here. That one's really super nice. There's uh, another thing that people talk about. It's um, called fogging. It's a fogging oil and you run it through the motor. I wouldn't fog an engine um, just for a simple over the winter stay. If I was letting a car sit for six months, year, longer than that, then definitely would suggest fogging it and then taping off exhaust and intake and everything that you can tape off to let nothing in there, no moisture, no nothing. Uh, another thing you can look at, check out your insurance. You can put your insurance on storage insurance, so you want theft and fire. If you have it stored away in a nice place, those would, another, that's another way to save a couple bucks throughout the winter time. Um, there are some people who recommend, hey, I want to go out and start my car every once in a while. I've heard mixed bag stories on whether you should or whether you shouldn't. Uh, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think of that. If there's any other ideas I have not covered 
Uh, for those of us who have to put their cars away for winter, us not being me anymore, I moved out to Arizona, so I don't have to do that. But um, anybody who has suggestions, please drop them down below. And uh, just remember, we're doing this for the smiles per gallon. Thanks for watching.